Hello everyone, I'm Miss Wonderland and you look beautiful today. Like you can hear on my voice, I'm kinda slowly recovering, I guess. I don't know, maybe it's just all this medicine I took and I feel slightly better, so <laughs> Oh my god, I really try my best to uh, recover from this flu. But yeah, let's continue. Iki has... I don't know... He has a little bit of problems with all the girls who are so, so in love with him. And he kind of has, I don't know, a sad thinking moment right now. And I thought about what I want to say to him. And I think I want to give him the chance to be super duper um, open about his feelings towards me, so maybe I can say something in return to that and he would feel better about himself again. Maybe something like, don't don't worry, I, I trust you, everything's fine or something like that. And yeah, so I decided to pick, do you dislike me too? No. You don't have feelings for me, do you? You wouldn't try to steal me from other girls, right? I'm right, aren't I? Oh shit, was it the wrong thing? I wanted to say more to you. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> anyway, wait. I think trust went higher, right? All the other things went down. I don't I don't even know. It's so hard to see that. It's so hard. It would be easier if there would be I don't know, numbers down here or something like that, so that I can that I can recognize something. Oh, it's so hard. Anyway, I will be off. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Oh, oh. Oh. What was that? Huh. Oh, a message from him. You n I know, it is sudden, but would you confess to a guy you like if he already has a girlfriend? Would you want to go out with him even if that means taking him away from her? I've never been in that position before, so I can't really imagine, but maybe that's just a normal thing. I think I'm confused. What's wrong? Doesn't he seem kind of gloomy to you? I don't really get it, but it sounds like he's really troubled. Maybe you should reply. I wouldn't confess. I need to say it, even if I knew it was unless I would be willing to steal for love. I wouldn't confess. If I see they, t they both are super duper happy together, then I wouldn't say anything, I guess. On the other side, maybe you have to s just to say it and... No, I think I would leave them alone. Because when I say something in any kind of way, I would ruin, maybe ruin their relationship. So, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I couldn't do something like that. I wouldn't confess. Hmm, yeah, you're right. I probably wouldn't say anything either. I feel better now, thank you. No, it's okay. Oh my god, look at that. Thinking. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking. Well, I, I'm thinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's referring to mine. This is the first time Iki's ever sent a message asking about something like this. I wonder if it happened often before you lost your memories. It sounds pretty personal, like something you only asked someone you knew well. Hmm. I wonder what exactly Iki thinks of you. No, Iki. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> it's so hard to see through him, to be honest. Eh, uh, August 9th. 
Hey, can you seriously get your act together? Huh? Me? Yes, you! Why are you mad, all of s Why are you mad at me so early in the morning? Wait, did you even have a shift today, Shin? That's the problem! Last night, I got a call from mine. Oh... I was rejected by EQ, so I'll be skip working to so I will be skipping work tomorrow. Take care of it. That's what she said. That's I don't even know what to say. How many female employees does this make now? You have just up and quit. This is seriously getting to be a real problem. I know the manager says your condition is a big contribution to the cafe, but I think it's more like a trouble at sword. Also, I don't think mine is so sentence of that she quite completely quit completely. You should be more careful and when you reject someone do it more gently. Yeah. But I'm already been gentle. Oh, you are, are you? Yeah, I guess. Then you're rejecting them so gently that they can't even give up on you. Anyway, I will be working today. Alright. I'm sorry. He said Iggy rejected mine. I wonder how he did it. I think it's good that Iggy said things straight. But it's really is irresponsible of irres irresponsible, yeah, of mine to take the day off work. I mean, you are working and you have a need. <laughs> this place has been crazy right from the morning. Was it always like this? Also, Shin. What? Did you go tell the manager about this again? I did. Uh. Everyone, get the. Let's begin the morning assembly. Mm. I received a report that there were once again romantic issues between our employees yesterday. Mm. Because of that, one employee forced a sudden shift switch. Trouble like this is an enormous wrench in the coffee's strategic, strategic, strategic operations. Those involved should consider their actions and correct their attitudes. That's all. That's missed. <laughs> Manager. Don't say anything. Personally, I sympathize with you. <laughs> well, that was a great good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's about wraps it up. Mine never did show up. I wonder if she's really going to quit and stuff. Well... I know this is kind of troublesome for the cafe, but at least we know Iki has no intention of cheating. Well, he's very open about who his girlfriend is, and he doesn't seem to have trouble rejecting other people. Hmm, I guess you could say that's the only good part of him. <laughs> oh, Ryan, don't be like that. <laughs> Still, he's always so secretive about walking home with you. Anyway, I guess you should just wait in the usual place where Iki chats it up with the other girls. Yep. Oh god, a new guy! Um, uh, uh, uh. What? What a huge person! Huge? He doesn't look huge. He looks tall. I think he meant tall. <laughs> He's just staring over here. Um, 
<laughs> oh god. <laughs> Don't look at us. Do you know him or something? Sorry. I'm late. I know I made you wait. <laughs> okay, so he finds that he is suspicious too. Good. <laughs> oh, it's you, Ken. Oh, he knows him! <laughs> Even better. Oh god. Um, new voice. Um. It's been a light, Ugu. Huh? He knows him? And there is this weird sense of tension. <laughs> I see. So the time has finally come. Yes. I've been waiting a long time for this day when I could finally confront you. Ha! <laughs> I could have preferred to never see you again. <laughs> How unfortunate then. If you're going to beg your life, do it now. If you're going to beg for your life, do it now. I've created the ultimate weapon to finish you off for good. The ultimate, the ultimate weapon. I see. Sounds like there's nowhere to run. Caroline, stand back. Uh, what's going on? Are we in a, d in a different world or now or something? I, I. You finished me off, huh? I won't yield to you. If you think you can defeat me, then go ahead and try. Huh! That was my Im intention, you. This weapon shall seal your fate. I've spent a long time on this, just for our sake. Research, dreams, sleep, yes. This has been my entire life for some time, so that I could create this weapon. What can you would go that far? Now then, regrettably, it's time to say farewell. I shall use this weapon and execute you from all eternity. Take this EQ, my ultimate masterpiece, the penetrable of my knowledge. Uh. Oh god. <laughs> um. Oh god, the music is so intense. Um, please stop. What? Ow. That hurt me too. Uh, are you okay? I'm sorry. I didn't think you would jump in front of him like that. Uh, sorry. I I, I heard. Can you stand? Uh. You seem fine. What a relief. Uh, this actually really, really hurts. But that was surprising. I didn't think you jumped in. Were you trying to save me or something? Oh, he's blushing! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if you were, that made me. That makes me kind of happy. <laughs> also, right now was probably not the best moment. Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Help! <laughs> Oh, I introduce you. This is Kent. He's my best friend. Or maybe just a bad friend. Your best friends? <laughs> what? You can call us arch rivals. You think of me as your arch rival? <laughs> That's kind of an honor. Didn't I tell you about him before? You know, the idiot who's in graduate school for math. Hey. 
You go to graduate school yet? Um, you make silly weapons like this. Sounds like an idiot to me. Just look at this paper. His weapon is just a math puzzle. It's not just a puz puzzle. I've spent countless hours on research students and I even lost sleep to make that. Yeah, you said that earlier. Thanks for this really complicated looking thing. This puzzle truly could be called a mathematical weapon. Even you wouldn't be able to solve it. Uh... What's going on here? <laughs> Just keep telling yourself that. <laughs> uh, I don't think I ever seen Iki talk to someone like this before. He said the other guy is his best friend. I guess even Iki has a different side to him around friends. I'm sure you want to come visit my price, Ken. Could she come along too? I have no reason to refuse, but in fact, wouldn't it be more appropriate to ask her if I can come along? Caroline, is that okay with you? Do you have anything to do later? I would love to go. Alright then, feel free. Oh my god, we go to his place. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> huh? So this is Iki's room. It's expect unexpectedly cozy. Yeah, it is. Why do you appear so curious? Aren't you used to this place? Well, oh crap, that's right. It's bad to look around, isn't it? It's her first time. The princess won't even let me kiss her yet. Um, there's no way I could bring her to my place. Huh! I didn't realize you were struggling so much. <laughs> I see, so a woman even you can't win over has finally appeared. Don't be so sure about that. We still have one, uh, uh, three weeks, I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. But it sounds like mm, mm, I'll be able to finally see you cry over woman for change. Yeah, not just math. Like hell you will. That's not funny even as a joke. Oh, go ahead and sit wherever you want. I'll bring some drinks. Oh god, he's so close. <laughs> uh. Um... Why is he looking over here? Wait, it's no time to to be getting shy. I mean, come on. You need to ask this Kent guy for infos about Iki. He's, he's his best friend after all. Come on. Ask him about Iki's friends. His life at college. His previous girlfriends. There's just so much to ask. Um... Is really Iki so good at math? Oh, you mean the math puzzle? Those, those are just a bunch of problems for entertainment. It's far more difficult to create math problems than to solve them. Mm -hmm, I'm the one who's good. He's just an idiot. Yeah, I, I'm the one. I, I'm the one. That's all there is to it. I thought we would be odd rivals if he were the one who writing the problems. <laughs> uh, because I'm the one. Yeah, like I said. Uh, so there's a big gap between their math abilities, but they're about equals if he's writing them and Iki's solving them? I don't know. Iki was majoring in accounting. I'm surprised his choice was so plain. Um, so you get along with Iki? I suppose so. I've been spending time with Iki ever since he entered uni the university. Yeah. This might sound ridiculous, but the catalyst for our getting to know each other was girlfriend troubles. 
The woman who was going out with me at the first at the time told me that she fell in love with EQ and it created friction between us. What? This friendship was born out of a love triangle? Ugh, this is a new one. It's hilarious, just telling the story. <laughs> he kept saying his condition was what caused it. Mm. If he had seduced her, uh, he could have been honest, but it just sounded like the most absurd excuse. Well, it makes me laugh even now. I don't look like that, but I'm loving on the inside. <laughs> I have no means of c explaining such a condition with my present knowledge. Afterwards, I ended up breaking up with the woman I was dating, but that's not the issue. The issue is that even after three years, he still hasn't breaked down from that excuse of his. I accepted that it's strangely inacceptable how many women tend to flog around him wherever he goes. Because his condition can't be explained from a medical standpoint, I believe there is a physiological or a sociological reason. <laughs> Words, you know. Um, and it's for the reason I have spending my time with them out of interest. I want to determine, de determine the truth for myself through observation. Uh, I don't even know where to start. So he's saying he doesn't care about his ex-girlfriend and he's hanging out with Iki because he can't accept his condition? Uh, what a strange fri friendship. I have. However, you seem to be quite different from the other women I've seen. I've gained an interest in you ever since hearing that you're actually making Ike struggle. <laughs> Still, now that I've been meet you, you seem unexpectedly ordinary. What did you say? From what I've seen, EQ tends to choose relatively well-developed women, so you are quite different from them. Also, it's possible that we that he just considers that aspect and refreshing. <laughs> Grr! How can he say such rude things with a straight face? I think the more we hear, the more we learn how weird this guy is. You're pretty strange. Yeah, I'm sure. I get it quite often. You really are an ordinary woman, just as you appear. Nah. What's with this guy calling you ordinary? <sighs> Is he trying to say he's extraordinary? Do you dislike me? No. While well, I have an interest in you, I don't feel strongly enough to say that it's on the level of the like or dislike. At present, I simply don't see any future f f failure in you. Nah. Sorry for the wait. It looks like you two are getting along. In what way? Huh? I was was I wrong? You two just looked like you were having a playful argument. Argumenting is actually Ken's way of showing his affection. That's not true. Anyway, now that the conversation's getting exciting, we should have some tea. This conversation's getting the opposite of exciting! Oh, I actually ended up making coffee. Um, would you prefer tea? I see you're addicted to coffee as usual, EQ. <laughs> That's right. Half of the stuff served in the coffee is is in the cafe is coffee too. The food there isn't very good, but the coffee is acceptable. I can't deny that. Huh? What a strange pair. <laughs> I mean, it could be the fever that I don't understand anything at all, but what the fuck? <laughs> a 
is going on? <laughs> oh, it's already late. It's dark out. I'll walk you home. I see, then I suppose I could be going now. Yeah, but... Yeah, thanks for the puzzle. I give it a try. I appreciate that. I will be thinking of how to punish you for giving up. <laughs> I've told you already. I won't give up. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you try. Bye. <laughs> anyway, we should go too. You don't want to be alone with me at night, do you? Or do you want to spend the night? It could lend... I could let you some clothes. Oh, you don't need clothes. Hey, why are you blocking away like that? It's okay. I'm not some wolf starving for a girl. I will hold back if you ask me to. I'd be okay sleeping on the floor, and I won't do anything if you ask me not to. Also, it's up to you whether you can believe me or not. But spending the night with a guy and telling him not to do anything is a little, you know. I am... Um... Hmm? What's wrong? You're all red. So, do you really want to stay? <laughs> so, sorry, I'm joking. Don't get so serious. <laughs> I will never be able to touch your butt, right? I'll walk you back. I won't do anything. <laughs> That's how I imagine he says that. Anyway, let's get going. Oh, it's cold out, so I'll lend you a coat. You can return it tomorrow at work. <laughs> doesn't it, this isn't the love the matter. Come on, come on. Don't worry, Orion, he's just sad. <laughs> just such just so you know, I thought of about a hundred excuses you could say to escape from this. Uh, anyway, if you ever make up your mind about it, you're always welcome to stay here with me. I'm not just talking about staying the night, I mean living- WHAT?! <laughs> what?! I guess today was just a preview. Just think about it. Why do you want to live with me? We we hold it hands. That's it. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, we got home safely. I thought it would be safe at this place because a friend was around, but he's a really gusty guy. And what was that with the, at the very end? He mentioned living together. You haven't even kissed, so you're pretty far. Thank you. Thank you, Orion. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. <laughs> oh my god. But it sounded like he's talked about this before. Hmm. Why would he bring up something like this? Hmm. Maybe he feels lonely. Wait, Iggy of all people? And if he's lonely, living alone, he... I mean, I mean Kent and stuff, yeah. It sounded like Iki was the one offering living together to you. But it sounds like you were hesitating about it before, too. Uh, maybe the one month left Iki was talking about before was the time limit for that decision. Wait, but mine was also talking about there being only one month left. I mean, huh, cool. Uh. I feel as thought we could do... We got to know Iggy a little better today. But things also got a little more confusing. Oh well. It's probably about time to th stop thinking and just hit the hay. Let's do our best tomorrow. Good night! <laughs>